Hello and welcome to today's discussion. In our last discussion, we saw the latest statistics for the DV 2022 program. And in this one, we will compare the statistics from the different quarters, especially the just in the third quarter, and see what the prospects are when it comes to visa issuance in the DV 2022 program. So let's go over to the tables and do that. Our first table shows visa issuances for the third quarter in the DV 2022 program, as well as prospects for the month of July. In the three middle columns, we have the number of applicants that were issued visas in the months of April, May, and June, respectively. At the bottom of each of those columns, we have the total number of visas that were issued in each of those months, beginning with the month of April, where 4,516 visas were issued, and that number increased to 4,900 visas in the month of May, and for the month of June, it further increased to 5,893. Now, above these totals, we have in the different cells the various numbers of visas that were issued to the various regions during each of those months. And in our final column, we have the prospects for the month of July. We cannot say exactly how many diversity visas will be issued in the month of July, but considering the numbers from the last three months, we can expect the Africa region to be issued not less than 1,500 visas during the month of July, the Asia region not less than 1,000 visas, the Europe region not less than 2,500 visas, and when it comes to the smaller regions, we do not expect them to be issued less than what they were issued during the month of June. And with that, we can expect more than 6,000 visas to be issued across all regions during the month of July. Now let's move over to our second table. In this second table, we have visa issuances for the first three quarters in the DV 2022 program. For the first quarter, we have said that before, there were a total of 208 visas issued across all regions. That number considerably increased during the second quarter when the number of visas issued was 7,040 and the number from the second quarter more than doubled during the third quarter when we had a total of 15,309 visas issued across all regions. And that gave the Africa region a total of 6,862 visas issued during the first three quarters. For Asia, it was 4,049 visas. For Europe, 9,983. The North America region received six visas, Oceania 522, and the South America region 1,129, bringing the total visas issued during the first three quarters to 22,551. Now, what are the prospects for the fourth and final quarter of the DV 2022 program? During the fourth quarter, we can expect each region to receive more visas than the total number of visas it received during the first three quarters. And that is because of two reasons. The first of those reasons is the trend that visa issuance has had in the program so far. As we saw earlier, only 208 visas were issued during the first quarter, and that number significantly increased to 7,040, which more than doubled in the next quarter to 15,309. So considering that trend, we can expect that for the fourth quarter, the numbers will also be far above what we experienced for the third quarter. And the second reason is because of the month of September. The month of September is usually the month in which the highest number of diversity visas are issued across all regions. And so, because of those two reasons, we can expect the Africa region to receive not less than 7,000 
visas during the fourth quarter, the Asia region more than 4,000, the Europe region more than 10,000, and then for the smaller regions, more than totals they accumulated during the first three quarters. And that means a total of more than 22,500 diversity visas are expected to be issued across all regions during the fourth and final quarter of the DV 2022 program. So with such a number, if there is no disruption to the way things are going in the DV 2022 program, we can expect anywhere from the mid 40s to early 50,000 diversity visas to be issued by the end of the program year. And when we compare that to past statistics, we can say that the DV 2022 program will end up being considered a normal program from the point of view of visa issuance. So those are the prospects there are when it comes to the DV 2022 program. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching it. And if you are a DV 2022 applicant, I would like to wish you the very best as we enter the final quarter of your program year. See you very soon, God willing. Goodbye.